Good afternoon, guys. Today, I have come to Wales. It's, uh, it's reopened for the most part. Uh, so foreigners are allowed back in now, which is great. Uh, and I needed to get the last video done in my film series. So I thought what would be quite good is to come into Wales and try and find something relatively epic. Uh, and I found some waterfalls. Thanks to a guy I met called Colin. Uh, I'll link him in the description. He let me know all about this the last time I was here. And this is the waterfall I forgot to go to, or didn't go to. There are two, there's one just down here, and there's one the other side. And I went to the one the other side. And when I told him, it's like, oh yeah, that's an absolutely awesome waterfall. He goes, that's not the best one. And it's like, what? So I have made the two and a half hour trek into Wales, two and a half hour trek into Wales to use three shots on or the last three shots on the film camera. So let's get going. Okay, so I've made it to the waterfall. Uh, it's about a minute, two minute walk from the car. Hopefully you can hear me as well because it is pretty loud. So what I've done is I've come away from the waterfall to talk to you. But it's, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous waterfall. And I've had a quick look already and there are a few things that I'm looking at thinking those might really work as compositions. You've got the waterfall in the background and then just below it, you've got the drop pool and then you've got loads of little cascades along the bottom of it as well. So what I'm hoping to do, there's a, there's a few bits here and there, like uh, over on the left-hand side, which is just up there. You've got some ferns and things, which could work as foreground interest. And then down at the bottom, as I mentioned, you've got these little cascades that, and some of them are like sweeping cascades, so they, the water's just carved some nice shapes out of the rock and it looks absolutely brilliant. So what I'm hoping is that the, the film camera is going to be able to catch this. The problem I'm gonna have here is that it's not a small focal length. So I need to make my, I need to come away from the subject just to be able to get everything in. So I'm hoping I can get the foreground subject and the waterfall in at the same time, otherwise I'm gonna be a little disappointed. But I'll have a little wander around, see what I can do, and I will, and I promise I will talk to you, talk you through these. All right, let's get it going. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Oh, one second. Oh, what a nightmare. That was a lot more work than it needed to be. To begin with, there were a couple of groups of people just turned up and started playing in the water, which meant all I could really do was have a look around to see what compositions I could do. And then once I'd done that, it was really hard finding a finding a composition at about 44 mil. Yeah, so it was a bit of a nightmare. I managed to find a couple uh, because I couldn't get far enough away from it. I couldn't quite get everything in. So I took a couple of shots where I could. 
I managed to get the waterfall and then a couple of the little cascades afterwards. But I took two shots of that. According to the digital camera, it was going to be about 3.2 seconds. So I tried sticking it in bulb mode and doing 3.2 seconds and then realized I might be able to get it better if I did it a different way. So I, to begin with, I tried to get as much depth of field and did F16, hence 3.2. Uh, I then changed it to F11 and it was just over a second. So what I did is on the camera, it doesn't do uh, quarters or halves, it just does whole stops in time and aperture. So I stuck it to one second and I think that's going to come out okay. Hopefully none of the water is going to be overblown. And then what I tried to do is the last, the very last shot, I tried to do a bit of a minimalist shot. Uh, so I got, because I couldn't go any further away, I had to get close in. So I went and tr took a close-up shot of one of the little cascades. So hopefully that's come out okay as well. But that officially is one roll of film done. And the third part of the film series over. I'm going to climb up the hill, head back to the car, get a drink and then I'm gonna see about making my way home. The last video I thought was gonna be a short video and then I ended up talking about the camera. This one I think is gonna be a short film, uh, short video. So uh, possibly a bit B-roll heavy. Uh, I may have to do some voiceovers, but uh, unfortunately with the noise down there, that's, that's all I could do. Right, as before, there will be spoilers at the very end. Don't watch them. You don't wanna, you don't wanna spoil the surprise for the next video. Uh, of which I develop <laughs> this roll of film. So I've got all the bits together. I've got all the chemicals. I've got all the, like the pats and tank and everything. So I'll go through that and I will develop it all there and then. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got some images. It's a lot of effort to come away with nothing. So I'm really hoping I've got something. Well, I say it's a lot of effort. It's, it's not, it's really nice coming out. And it's the first time back in Wales and waterfalls. And it's not raining. It was due to rain, but it's not. In fact, it's getting sunny. Right, let's climb this hill. So that is the waterfall done and 12 images done. All right, if you liked what you watched, uh, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, if you want to see the next video, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and it should pop up when I post that. But this will be going up in be a week tomorrow. Part two is going out tomorrow. Part, part two is going out tomorrow. Uh, part three the following week and then part four will be the week after that and then you'll get to see all of the uh, all of the shots that may or may not have come out all right right it's getting warm right i will catch you all on the next video take care keep safe